everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is, of course, Monday, June 30th, 2014. As we close the end of the month, I tweeted this yesterday. In fact, if you're not already subscribed to my Twitter account, please do. Uh, subscribe at amtvmedia.com, AMTV Media. Follow us. I put out a tweet late last night that said, New evidence suggests Flight 370 cockpit was tampered with mid-flight in deliberate hijacking. Flight 370, cover-up. And there's an article here by The Telegraph that says, New evidence of cockpit tampering as investigation into missing plane continues. Uh, you can see here the map. And, of course, we talked about all of this in great, great length at the very get-go, uh, assuming really from the beginning that this was a hijacking, that this was an intended event, attack, and that it was a gross cover-up by the international spying agencies and the international community, intelligence community at large, to basically cover up a heinous act of a plane suddenly disappearing in the middle of nowhere. Of course, for us to be expected to believe that with today's new technology, where they can triangulate our location of a single cell phone, that they could potentially or possibly lose a plane is utter hogwash and ridiculous uh, to believe. You have to honestly be an idiot. Air crash investigators probing the disappearance of Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 have discovered possible new evidence of tampering with the plane's cockpit equipment. A report released by Australian air crash investigators has revealed that the missing Boeing 777 suffered a mysterious power outage during the early stages of its flight, which experts believe could be part of an attempt to avoid radar detection. Again, backing up and providing more evidence to the charge that this plane was hijacked. According to the report, the plane's satellite data unit made an unexpected logon request to a satellite less than 90 minutes into its flight from the Malaysian capital Kuala Lumpur to the Chinese city of Beijing. The report says that the logon request, known as a handshake, appears likely to have been caused by an interruption of electrical power on board the plane. Intentional, intentional interruption of electrical power with this login right when the plane takes off. This is quoted here, a logon request in the middle of a flight is not common, said the report, says the independent investigation by the Australian Transport Safety Bureau. An analysis was performed which determined that the characteristics and timing of the logon request were best matched as resulting from power interruption. So what this means, what this specific new development means, the fact that new evidence being presented by the international community and these independent investigation units alleging and providing us with evidence that the cockpit was tampered with right when the plane took off and that there was a power outage in an attempt for this plane to fly off radar. Again, all of this adds more fuel to the fire and brings more credibility to the charge that this plane was hijacked. Whether or not this was the pilots themselves which could be likely, in fact, evidence presented here could lead many to believe that that was the case, uh, that the pilots themselves were a part of this mass sabotage and conspiracy, maybe with uh, a rogue nation of some sort with their help, or this could have been a remote hijacking via computer. Of course, all these planes uh, fly now mostly on autopilot and can be controlled remotely via computer, or it was some kind of sinister group or terrorists on board the jet itself that took over the plane, knew what they were doing, and flew this into a secret location. Now, in the meantime, of course, they're spending millions and millions of dollars wasting, wasted uh, millions and millions of dollars so far searching for the plane in this area of the Indian Ocean. In fact, they're going to start a new underwater search in August just to, I guess, waste more cash, just burn money in about a 23,000 square mile area. Now again, this is very sinister, and as I suggested in the very beginning, to much outcry from the mainstream sheeple, that one of the primary reasons that international intelligence agencies and businesses at large and global governments wanted to cover up this story is they did not want to create a panic among the people and prevent people from flying, or from traveling and potentially crippling a multi-billion dollar travel industry. 
Now, we all saw the repercussions post-September 11, 2001, so you could only imagine if the people knew the real truth about Flight 370. It would cost the travel industry and airlines billions and billions of dollars. Nobody would fly for a while. They would be terrified to, to learn the truth that this plane was hijacked as new evidence backs up. New evidence of cockpit Flight 370 intentionally being tampered with right at takeoff so that they can avoid radar. And this is coming from independent investigation units investigating the mysterious disappearance of Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. Again, my heart goes out to all the victims, all the family members of the victims, these victims that likely could still be alive for all we know. Nobody really knows. But what we know is that the evidence continues to back up the suggestion and if you want to call it a theory, you can call it a theory. But the evidence presented to us, to the people, suggests that this plane was hijacked, as was the case and was my assumption in the very, very beginning, the moment this plane disappeared. And again, I've done several videos, and we've done dozens of pieces on it, again, to much of an outcry from the mainstream sheeple, saying that we are conspiracy theorists, but new evidence backing this up more and more every single day. And in fact, I encourage you to watch this video that we put out right when the plane disappeared. Flight 370, the largest conspiracy since 9-11. Just begging for more views with almost 300,000 views and growing so far. Get this video out everywhere. Make it viral, hard-hitting and in your face. And click the link below to support our sponsor.